All right, so today I'm going to demonstrate how to create a REST application uh, for integrating with PayPal. So first you'll want to go to developer.paypal.com and you'll want to click log in to dashboard. And here you will log in with a production PayPal account. So typically here uh, you would want to log in with whatever PayPal account you want to um, take payments with in production. Uh, however, if you're doing development, you might have a PayPal account specifically for that. Um, you can definitely log in with that as well. So I'm going to log in with my production PayPal account. All right. So if you're not already on the My Apps and Credentials page, uh, you'll want to click it now. If not, you'll want to scroll down to REST API apps. Um, the list below will list any apps that you currently have. If you're logging in for the first time, uh, you shouldn't see any of this. So to create just your basic uh, REST app, we would click the Create App button. However, we're going to um, create a new Sandbox account first, just to demonstrate that as well. So you would want to do, you would want to create a new Sandbox account if you are transacting in different currencies. Um, when you first log into Developer, there is a um, Sandbox account that's automatically created uh, with your username and Dash Facilitator, um, which will work for this. However, we are going to demonstrate how you could create a new Sandbox account as well. So I'm going to click under Accounts under Sandbox. And this will list all the Sandbox accounts associated with your developer account. So I'm going to create a new Sandbox account. Um, and this would be if I wanted to transact in something you know, other than USD. Um, you know, I could create um, a French account and we want to make sure that it's a business account since that's what we attach our REST app to. Email address. You want to change this to um, something to identify the account. Um, so for me, I'm just going to do seller fr at awesome.com password can be anything you want All right, you can set a PayPal balance if you want um, bank account verified any credit card you want so I'm just going to create the account All right, so I just created a new Sandbox account, and you can see it here. And you can see that it is uh, a business account from France. All right, so now, once again, that, that portion of creating a Sandbox account is only necessary uh, if you aren't, if you want to transact in a different currency other than the facilitator account that is automatically generated with your developer account. So I'll go back to the apps and credentials page and I'm going to create an app. All right, and here we want to name the app. So I'm just going to do my test app. Um, and then you'll want to select the developer account we just created, which this is it. However, if you didn't do that step, um, you can select your facil facilitator account, um, which is the automatically generated one and you should have something similar to this in your account already. However, I'm going to do this new Sandbox account I created. I'm going to create the app. All right, so now my app is created, um, and I have the um, credentials here. So you'll see if you're doing uh, sandbox testing it'll give you a set of sandbox API credentials here you'll have to click show to get the secret 
And then you configure your app to make API calls with the client ID and the client secret. Here's where you would enable any sort of sandbox webhooks that you want. And your sandbox app settings here. Uh, just for taking um, basic payments, you shouldn't have to uh, configure anything other than the, the default here. And that is it for the sandbox. If you want your live credentials, you just click over here on the live and it will give you your live client ID and you would click on the secret to show your live. And then you would also add your um, live webhooks or any other settings that you would that you need. And that is it. That is how you create a a REST application for integrating with PayPal's REST APIs.